use, you know? It's always a tough dilemma. I know a lot of you use this dumbbell. Well, it has benefits, but when it comes down to developing your mobility, developing a lot of the things in your body that you need every day to do what you like to do, this is probably going to do a lot more for you than this. All right, and I want to show you today what I mean by that. All right, so let's talk a little bit about it. Let's start with flexibility and mobility. Okay, a dumbbell, no question, it can create a vertical vector that can challenge your flexibility and mobility. And again, you can put yourself in multiple positions to train with the dumbbell. All right, but the bottom line is you're always going to go ahead and have a vertical vector. So that said, how does this help with our flexibility and mobility? Well, first of all, you know the stretching routines. I've showed you that over and over again. If you have any questions about that, email me and I'll let you know more about it. But the other thing that this allows us to do, because of the nature of elastic resistance, we can do what's called assisted lunges. Now, why is assisted important? Because it decreases gravity, it decreases momentum, and it decreases ground reaction forces. So it allows us to lengthen even more than we normally would because those three things limit our mobility. So there's your first thing. Dumbbells just can't do that. The heavier that dumbbell, the more you're going to go ahead and shorten up your range of motion. Now granted, you can go lighter and step yourself out more, but ultimately, it's not going to create a horizontal vector all right, to help you go ahead and increase your mobility. Horizontal vector brings me to the second thing. Why is horizontal vector so important? Well, think about it for a second. How am I going to create a horizontal vector like this? I can't push out because the one dumbbell will drop. I can lay on my back and do a press, and you could say that's horizontal, but now I'm laying on my back. So let's talk about horizontal vectors as it relates to bands. Well, think about it. I can go ahead because the band's lightweight. I can do horizontal vector training in that fashion. Now, why is that important? Well, the horizontal vector is going to allow us to do a lot of different movements that we can't do with a dumbbell. It's going to allow us to do running, jumping, things like that. It's also going to go ahead and allow us to do pushing, pulling, but we're going to be on our feet. So because we're on our feet, we can take advantage of ground reaction forces, all right, and we can really learn to train our trunk, which brings us to the next thing. All right, the next thing, anti-extension, anti-lateral flexion, and anti-lateral and lateral side bending. How can I train that with a dumbbell? Pretty challenging to do. I can go unilateral and go dumbbell presses up, but again, it's a vertical vector. How do I challenge extension with a dumbbell? All right, granted, going overhead, there's going to be a little bit of momentum, but again, because of the horizontal vector, I can work anti-extension much better with a horizontal vector doing things like kickouts, step backs, and then I can go right into lateral flexion and work the same thing. And then I can drop down and work anti-rotation. So again, because of the horizontal vector, I can work the trunk the way it's designed to work when we're in standing. Let's talk speed. Well, hey, there's no better speed system than working with this hooking yourself into a linked up system and working on first step speed, you know, working on shuffle drills, working on stationary running or bursts, all right, or back pedals. How are you going to do this with that? You're not, all right? That's the bottom line. You're not going to do it. Why would I want to do this? Because this is going to develop your ability to handle ground reaction forces, which I don't care what age you are, you're going to have to learn how to do, all right? So that's the next thing. All right, so now let's talk about multiple planes. Well, again, I go back. We can go ahead and work with the dumbbell, but when you go to push a dumbbell in this fashion, you got to go straight up because you can't go at an angle. All right, now let's take a band. Not only can I go ahead with this band and work overhead presses like I did with the dumbbell, like such, but now I can work multiple planes because the dumbbell, the band's going to come with me. I can go ahead and work rotational movements. I can work side bending movements and pressing. 
Can you do it with a dumbbell? Absolutely. But, again, it's going to be much more challenging because you're going to have to stay in a straight plane. Let's just talk specifically about why would I want to change and go in multiple planes? Well, you know what? If I can go ahead and press out here, it's going to free up my shoulder a lot more than if i got to stay in tight. All right? I can go into a double press like so and press apart. So now I'm getting a frontal plane with a sagittal plane. I can go ahead and do some drop squats. Yes, I can do it, but I can't push apart when I do that. So again, why do I want to do it? The band and multiple planes of training allow me to position my joints in a much more safe movement position that in some cases you can't do with a dumbbell. So again, bands are going to allow me to do that. Last thing, tempo. Yeah, tempo changes. Because of the nature of the band, I can do tempo changes. So I can do slow movements or I can go quick. Why? Because a band allows me, due to the ascending resistance, to change my speed of movement. So again, something you can't do with a dumbbell because it's a constant resistance. So am I bad mouth in dumbbells? No. Should you train with dumbbells? Absolutely. If you want to, that's great because the bottom line is to train. But if you want to work horizontal vectors, if you want to work more flexibility and stretching, if you want to work great anti-rotation extension and, and side bending for your core, if you want to work some speed and agility, if you want to work in multiple planes of movement or in planes of movement that are better suited for your joints, or you want to change the tempo and the speed of your movements, you got to do it with this. That is simply not going to go ahead and get it done. And that's what I'm talking about. And why do you want to do all those things I just talked about? Because that is going to go ahead and make you much more functional. It's going to make you a lot more mobile. And it's going to train your body to get used to the things that you wanted to do. All right? And that's the key. Because ultimately, as we go older, function is going to start coming down. My goal is to keep it as long as I can, and so should yours.